Make sure you wear your safety glasses. This is our log. When we start doing the measuring, maybe come over here so they can see it. Yes. Okay, first we'll measure our log into different pieces. First, one the bottom will have to be the thickest. So let's make a mark. And the saw will cut off at one eighth inch, or eighteenth of an inch. So you'll have to cut a little further up. So you just continue making lines here. How many ever you want to make for your coasters. Then you'll bring it to the saw and you hold it against the fence like this. And if you have partners, they can help hold it too. And then you'll bring the saw down and once you finish making the cut, you let go, but keep it down so it doesn't spin out your wood. Uh, cutting the wood, make sure you hold it to the fence. Make sure your cut is right on the saw. Alright. About there. <laughs> uh, uh, right there. Okay. Then make sure it's tight and bring it down. You would do this a couple more times. Yep, and this is how it should turn out like. All you have to do is cut your dowel to the size of your coaster. When you're gonna sand your dial and make it a plane, we'll use the sander here and you have to rotate back and forth. And if it's too sharp, you sand it down. We're here at the Delt Press thingamajibber, and you need to make sure this fits your dowel, like so. So you can drill a hole and the dowel will fit into your poster. So we're going to make sure, we're going to make a mark. As she does that, I'm going to make sure that this doesn't go too far and it just that's really I hold it like this and you drill too much it wouldn't go all the way so now you know we're gonna make the mark right about move it up right there and we'll okay so, here we go. Press the on button. Wait till it reaches full speed. Yes. Tell us about the bottom piece. On the bottom piece, you should only go halfway, not full way, only halfway, so you can stick the dowel in there. Like, so. This is a finished product, guys. First, you would sand with sandpaper on this in slow, easy motion. Until it's smooth. Make sure you don't sand these sides. And then when this side is done, you take the steel wool 
the sand on this side. And it's how soft. When you glue your dowel in, you're gonna just put a little glue in there and put it in. If some glue steeps out, you want to clean that immediately because you don't want to have to like take pick it out. It can damage your dowel or your finished piece here. Okay, you're gonna use this air piece to blow off the sandy gray stuff that you see there. So you go like this. Now, and to open the finish, you just use a screwdriver and you go around it. A flat head, make sure it's a flat head, and then you would use a stirring stick. That one's cool. And you'd have to stir it before using it. Make sure it's nice and stirred, and then when you're done, you have to hammer on the lid. When putting on the finish, you're going to go in circular motions around and then you're going to go on the sides like this and just rub it through and then on your crack you're just going to squeeze it through there with the finish you just keep going in circular motion until you're done and when you're done you're going to want to set it on popsicle sticks or something and don't keep it on the newspaper otherwise the print will go through All right, you have to put multiple layers onto the wood of the finish, and after you do one, you'll let it dry, and then you'll sand it down, and then you'll keep doing this. After you put it in layers to sand it, you go in circular motion, and don't sand this part, and to sand the crack, just go stick your sanding paper just like that. Just sand in circular motion. Once you finish your layers, you have a finished product.